Hi folks, I'm Steve Judd. I'm a professional astrologer with over 35 years consultative experience to my name. These are my astrological forecasts for the year 2015 for each sign of the zodiac. Enjoy. This is the astrological forecast for the sign of Cancer for the whole of 2015. On the one hand, compared to recent years, it's going to be a doddle, speaking as a Cancerian. On the other hand, it isn't going to be quiet. There's going to be a lot of background noise and a number of you are really going to come under the microscope, under the pressure. There's going to be a lot of gravity and density. None of the major things that are happening in the world are being directly aimed at you. It's just that you are in the firing line. And if you find that a lot of people are dumping on you over the coming year, then take it as an inverse compliment. Because it's not really directed at you, it's just that other people are seeing you as strong and stable enough to be able to withstand the pressure of letting them dump on you. They think you're strong and stable enough. So, Some of you are continuing to really go through the hedge backwards. Pluto is opposing the Sun. Of those of you born July 3, 4, 5, over recent months at the start of the year, but this finishes around January, February, and instead, over 2015, Pluto pays attention to those people born around July 5, 6, possibly 7, 4 to 7, 5 to 7, uh, July, the end of the first week of July, and here, there's no easy way out of this, I've been through this, I know what it's like, there's going to be an, a, a sense of dread, a sense of fear, irrational, about as if something's about to happen but you don't know what it is, it's a kind of blend of anticipation and trepidation, but it's also pushing you into dealing with certain things and issues in your life that you've never really been able to deal with fully and properly. And now they're coming up for attention in a way that says they will be dealt with. So you're going to do it. It's just a question of whether you go into the process eyes open or whether you're pushed in, in, in kicking and screaming. Far better to go into the dark knowingly, knowing that actually darkness is just the absence of light. There's nothing nasty there, it's just dark. Darkness, the real nasties come where there's shades of grey, where there's uncertainty or indecision. And for all Cancerians over the coming year, the prospect of being indecisive is not a good choice. It's not only Pluto, of course, it's also Uranus. During the period of most of 2014 and through to the end of March 2015, those Cancerians born from July 5 to July 8 have really had what I would consider quite a disruptive, changeable, chaotic year. It's been a time of major change. And this is now going to move on from the end of March, start of April onwards into the lives of those Cancerians born maybe uh, July 8 to July 12. And this coming year is going to have, well, on the one hand, stimulus, novelty, adventure, excitement, regardless of your age. And on the other hand, craziness, unpredictability, and probably a bit of disruption as well. So get your surfboard out and your roller skates oiled on this one. Neptune, working from Pisces, another water sign, is actually doing quite well for you. And Neptune's bringing some lovely energy into the horoscope of those of you born around June 29, 30, certainly June 30 and July 1, maybe July 2. This, this centred around June 30, July 1, people. This coming year is far more, I don't know, elegant and refined and sophisticated and subtle and artistic, enchanting, healthy. Saturn is not really looking at you that much. Spending much of the year in Sagittarius, a sign that you have little in common with. I don't see Saturn as being a major player over the coming 12 months. Yes, he will continue to bring an element of growing 
steadfastness, solidity and reliability into the lives of those of you born in the last two or three days of cancer, by which I basically mean those of you born sort of after July 1920. Here, yeah, these people are looking pretty solid all year, right the way through to September anyway. Jupiter's in Leo. It's not really affecting you for the first half of the year, but once he moves into Virgo in early August, then those Cancerians born in June, hey, you guys, you're in for a nice one. You're going to find that the period of early mid-August through to perhaps late September, early October, does hold in it a number of opportunities. It's a very fertile and creative time, and it could bring a number of big opportunities for growth and expansion. Uh, certainly there'll be one or two windows of opportunity opening for a number of you once you're past August and Jupiter leaves Leo and moves into Virgo. thing is, in the background, there's still the fallout from the Uranus-Pluto square of recent years and various grand crosses that have been associated with this. In this light, there are perhaps three major trigger points that need attention to be paid to. Firstly, there is the uh, conjunction of Mars and Uranus in Aries. That's going to hit those of you born around the 6th, 7th of July, and that's going to happen at the start of March. The full moon at the start of April is likely to bring an element of echo or reverb or aftershock into some of the affairs of 2014, the Grand Cross. And then there's going to be the full moon around the 13th of October, the new moon, I'm sorry, which is going to be the start of a whole new pattern of concentrated and compressed change for a number of you. So I'm not looking at this year as being a steady and stable year. It's certainly going to bring fairly continual changes, although this is now moving into those of you born in, in the first 10 days of cancer, rather than those born at the end or the start of the sign. It's going to be an interesting year. It's going to be a year of further developments, further evolution. It's not going to be quite as manic, not quite as intense or extreme. Much of the crises and trauma and drama is done. But there's still the need for recognising ongoing change as a vital force in your life. Because without it, you'll just get old. So don't expect life to go back to being the way it was. Because if you do, you failed. 2015 is going to be a little bit calmer. But it's still saying there's a need to go into the future with eyes wide open. As far as 2015 goes, Cancer... Have a stimulating year. There you go folks, I hope that was helpful and informative. I believe astrology should be free. I think that if astrology was taught in schools we'd see an end to warfare within two generations and in that context I want to put as much astrology free into the world as I can but it does cost your donations month in month out, the one pound, the five pound, the ten pound a month that you send me really help me keep this going. Thank you, keep them coming and look what I've got. And there's a new one on Mercury coming out later this year. So if you want to get these or find out about all my gigs travelling around the world this coming year, lecturing on astrology, email me, steve at stevejudd.com. See you next year. Bye.